this had been billed as a show of defiance, police and security men prepared for some form of confrontation. As demonstrators massed at the site entrance, there were a number of scuffles. Around 500 people scrambling over and through the perimeter fence surrounding the huge motorway cutting. Many of them already subject to court injunctions banning them from the site. I think it's my right to peacefully protest here and I will and I'm not going to let them stop me. I've decided to break this injunction because I feel it's a great infringement on my civil liberties and the civil liberties of the, um, my fellow injunctees. As protesters staged a mini festival in the path of the new motorway, there were further arrests as police tried in vain to halt their progress. In baking temperatures, tempers fraying as some police units were surrounded by demonstrators. But for the most part, the demonstrators were keen to avoid trouble, satisfied with making their point to weekend drivers on the road below. It's given a clear message to the government that they can't stifle protest by heavy-handed legal action. They can't stifle protest against schemes which damage environmentally sensitive areas like Twyford Down. It's not known if or when those arrested today will appear in court, but their actions are designed to demonstrate that controversy over this motorway link is far from over. Robert Hall, ITN, Twyford Down.